Hi, welcome to Deuteron. I'm Andreas and happy to welcome you. In our video tutorials, we explain the basics about the details of our product groups. This tutorial is about our anti-static agents. The Dotteron company produces some anti-static agents based on quaternary ammonium compounds for lowering electrostatic charges. This tutorial contains a short overview about the most important anti-static substances, the properties and effects, application and incorporation, which variants are available by Deuteron, and examples how to measure. In some areas and applications, electrostatic charging and uncontrolled discharge must be avoided. The effects can range from an unpleasant feel up to the destruction of electronic components, the ignition of a fire or, in the worst case of all, even explosions. The buildup of electrostatic charge is caused primarily by friction between non-conductive materials. When the materials are separated, an electrical imbalance results in negative and positive charges. These different charges remain indefinitely until there is a possibility to discharge. If it comes to any contact between both sides, electrostatic discharge occurs. In principle, there are two main reasons for adjusting the conductivity. First, anti-static properties of liquids or of the finished coatings. This can be important for electrostatically spraying, avoidance of dust and dirt adhesion, preventing sparking, ignition and explosions, control of electrostatic charges to avoid damage of electronic components. Second, anti-static treatment for solid resins and foams shoe soles and floor coverings, like PU systems for coatings and foams, linoleum, floor systems for hospitals, and so on. For many various applications and requirements, there are a large number of rules and regulations that must be observed in every case. Therefore, the electrostatic behavior must be controlled and protected against uncontrolled discharges. This can be done by conductive substances, for example, metals, soot, carbon black, carbon fibers or tubes, metal dubbed micropigments and fillers, and the tensite-like organic phosphates or succinic acid ester, and the large product group of quaternary ammonium compounds, in short, quartz. All these substances have special advantages or disadvantages as shown in this table. The most pigments, metals and carbon products will cause dark discoloration and require high dosages due to the needed contact between the particles. But solids are permanent additives, whereas the liquid quartz are often not permanent, but often active for years and very suitable for transparent and bright systems. Our quartz belong to the group of cationic surfactants. The Deuteron company offers anti-static agents only based on quaternary ammonium salts. The strong polar character of these ionic liquids can lower the resistivity of liquid coatings. Quad additives are even embedded in the matrix. To create an effect, they have to migrate to the surface. When a molecule has arrived the surface, the polar part orients itself on the surface. The non-polar part remains in the lacquer matrix. The protruding part is hygroscopic. This leads to adsorption of water from the air humidity. This is the effect of lowering surface resistivity. It depends on the air humidity and the time. If quad molecules are removed from the surface by mechanical impact or cleaning, 
the other molecules still embedded will follow the removed molecules and keep the surface effect. In this way, the effect can stay for a very long time. But, of course, this depends on the formulations and their conditions of use. The effectivity of the quartz mainly depends on the embedding, the distance and orientation in the binder matrix, the movability in the matrix, the kind of the formulation. Quartz don't have the same effects in all systems. And, of course, the dosage. In every kind of application, the optimum dosage has another value. All this has to be checked for every application. Our antistatic products consist of two different product groups of quaternary ammonium compounds. The very high effective linear quad based on tetraacyl ammonium ethyl sulfate, TAAS, and on the other side, the branched ester quad tetraalkyl ester ammonium methyl sulfate, TAEAMS. The different length of the main and side chains determines different properties, like polarity, miscibility in solvents and binders, or whether at least emulsifiability or stable mixtures. All these requires more or less complex tests for compatibility. Here we have a comparison of the solubility in different solvents. But even if the product is not soluble, it could be active in your system. Prerequisite is a stable miscibility in the used solvents. That leads to a cloudy and hazy solution and is not recognizable in the end system. The long duration of the effect of these non-permanent antistatic agents depends on several factors. These are, of course, the type of formulation, the area of application and its usage profile, mechanical stress, cleaning of the surfaces, and so on. In practice, different time periods can be observed. These range from a few months to years up to non-reduction of the effectivity. In case of doubt, this can only be checked in every single application by own tests. These products are suitable for many applications. For example, electrostatic spraying, dissipative floors, for example in industry, electronics and hospitals, safety clothing as shoes, common PU casting resins and foams. Important is the definition of electrostatic or conductivity. Real insulators have resistances above 1 teraohm, but insulating properties starts from 1 gigaohm. Overall, the antistatic properties are in the range between 100 kiloohm to 1 gigaohm. The requirements for electrostatically equipped shoes are in the resistance range of 100 kiloohm and 100 megaohm. Electrostatic dissipating is defined between 100 kiloohm and 35 megaohm. Conductivity is defined at resistivities below 1 megaohm. There is generally no optimal step for the incorporation of quads. In most cases, the addition should be made at the last stage of production. The antistatic effect depends strongly on the properties of the used polymers and other components of the formulations. The effect is definitively not determined by the dosage, but by the properties of the chemical and physical properties of the formulations. A limitation is Quaternary ammonium compounds are cationic tensites. That means they are mostly only suitable in cationic or non-ionic systems. In anionic systems, they are mostly incompatible. This has to be checked in initial trials. In some cases, it may be helpful to pre-dilute the antistatic additives in a suitable solvent. 
for example, a cold solvent of the lacquers. Some systems are very easy to modify, like in polyurethanes. Others are not so easy, like epoxides. Possible side effects have to be considered. This could be impact on the pot life, hardness or elasticity. These effects could be really changed completely in different formulations. Not to forget, these additives are amines and will have respective effects. In each case, other effects need to be observed. Our classic product group since decades is based on TAAS, as mentioned before. While Deuteron LE512 is a wax-like solid with a melting point of approximately 90 degrees Celsius, Deuteron LE100 is a liquid, although it has 100% active content. They are especially suited for 100% systems. These both types are variants of Deuteron LE512, diluted in butanol for adjusting anti-static properties in liquids. For example, electrostatic spraying. The next three types are diluted in reactive thinners. Deuteron LE50 UV with DPGDA is for radically curing UV systems. Deuteron LE151 and LE829 are diluted in diodes for the reaction with polyurethane systems. The diodes are reactive thinners, which are also cross-linked with the NCO hardener. This must be considered in the stoichiometry. The second product group are TAEAAS products. Deuteron LE200 is a 100 person type and pasty, like thick honey. While it's dilution in only 10% isopropanol, our Deuteron LE292 provides very low viscosity. With these two variants, the product should be usable in most cases. Check out the labeling of these products. They differ extremely from the TAAS types. The third group is also based on our classic quad, but we dried it. This grade, called Deuteron LE15P, has an active content of 50% and it's a dry powder. This allows usage in applications where liquids cannot be used or are unsuitable for the processing for example, in extruders. It is not enough to use only additives. You also have to be able to measure the required values. This is regulated in various standards for each application. The measurement of antistatic effects can be divided in mainly two areas. These are the surface and the volume resistivity. There are several methods used in the industry. For example, resistance to ground, resistance person to ground, point to point with two electrodes, surface resistance with a ring probe, volume resistance and some more. For a point to point measurement, two electrodes with standardized weights are used to ensure full contact with the sample surface. The distance between the electrodes is important and has to be documented. This is the ring electrode. It has an inner contact and an outer ring. Here, as before, a bearing weight is important in order to ensure complete contact with the sample surface. For volume resistance, the sample is placed on a counter electrode. For the volume resistivity, we use the ring electrode with one of the weights. It looks like a sandwich. Now we are nearly finished with this tutorial. I will quickly summarize the properties and benefits of our antistatic agents. They are colorless. 100% but liquid types available. Mostly easy to dilute. Not always permanent effect, but long lasting. No real conductivity. Electrostatic effects between 1 mega ohm 
to 1 gigaohm are possible. Usable also as cationic surfactant. Cationic means not suitable for anionic systems. The ecotoxicity of some grades have to be considered, for example, for food contact applications. Low classification types are available. We hope that this was helpful for you. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact us. Maybe we meet you in person soon at one of the next trade show. Do not forget, our documents like product data sheets, safety data sheets, brochures and regulatory information are available in the download section on our website, completely free and without registration. Other documents are available on request. We look forward to welcome you to our other product videos. Thank you for watching.